Hi, this is Frank Carmody. So today we're going to take a look at creating a little bit of more complicated assembly. Um, and we're going to be creating all of the IPTs from inside the assembly. So let's go ahead and create a new assembly. Okay, so we're inside an assembly. The first thing we're going to do is to click Create. Okay, we have to actually name our part file. Okay, so we're going to name this Our wheel rig, I don't know, for lack of a better name. Okay, then we have to go ahead and just click to place. And now notice in our browser bar, we're actually inside of this wheel rig uh, IPT. So we're going to go ahead and create a 2D sketch. Okay. Uh, and the first thing we're going to create inside this 2D sketch is actually um, kind of a shell which will hold our um, wheel later on. So, um, now usually we would specifically not start on the origin, in this case we are. So we're going to go ahead and create a circle. We're going to dimension that circle to be two inches. Click the green check. We're going to scroll out to zoom. Then we're going to create a line to cut the circle in half. Okay, so the line connects down. We're going to right click OK. Now we're going to click trim and we're going to trim off half of the circle there. Okay, notice that the dimension line still goes out, but that's fine. Right click OK, right click Finish 2D Sketch. Now we're going to go ahead and revolve this, um, this half the circle. So we click once to select the, the profile, once to select the axis. We're going to change full from full to 180, and it automatically changes to be uh, 180 degrees. We're going to go ahead and click the green check. And now we're actually going to create a shell um, from that half circle. So we're going to go ahead and click the shell. We're going to make the shell, we want to leave an eighth of an inch. So we can actually just use a fraction in this case. We're going to put an eighth of an inch. I'm going to click a green check. And now we have a shell. Okay, so by creating this on the origin, what we've done is we've, we've allowed ourselves to actually kind of predictably uh, work from the middle of the object. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click, click the plus for origin. And we're going to go ahead and create a work plane right in the middle of our object. So we, we click on the XZ. It depends on how, on how you drew your original drawing. But in my case, the, the plane in the middle of the object is the XZ plane. It may be different on yours. So we go ahead and we create a work plane. So we click on plane. We get to our uh, XZ uh, plane from the origin. We just jiggle it. We take the yellow circle, jiggle it a little. We want a zero amount offset. We'll click the green check. Okay, so now we have our um, we have our work plane. Now we're going to create a 2D sketch. We click create 2D sketch. We click on our work plane, and now we have a sketch that's living directly in the middle of our shell. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to create this um, this uh, kind of holder for our wheel. So uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go back to the origin because we know right where that is. Right it, when we when we highlight over it, we can see our our cursor changes to green. We're going to create our initial circle, and we want to make sure that that circle is one inch. So we're going to go ahead and dimension it to one inch. Okay, so that's our initial circle. Now we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to um, draw in. Um, the rest of this holder here. So we're going to kind of drag over. Now, uh, one thing that will really help us out here is by changing the view options. So let's go to view. We're going to go to visual style. And we're actually going to change to shaded with hidden edges. Okay. So this kind of lets us see through the objects and still have the shading there to help us. I think it's a good mix. So let's go back to the sketch. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a spline. We're going to kind of choose a um, a point that's not the, the outermost point of the circle, but kind of inside here. And we're actually just going to create a spline up and create kind of this nice shape. Uh, click the green check. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're going to choose just kind of this point here. We're going to create this uh, kind of nice shape up. And click the green check. Now we're going to uh, create, connect those with a line. Okay, and we're going to create this kind of free form uh, shape that will flow nicely. Right click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and just apply a nice constraint to this line just to make sure it's kind of um, a zero degree offset from the, oops, control Z because it 
<laughs> and it looked vertical to me, but it is horizontal. So let's go ahead and click horizontal. Uh, now we have uh, kind of this nice, um, nice straight line at the top here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and trim off part of the circle that we don't need. Then we're going to right-click, Finish 2D Sketch, and now we have this, uh, this sketch living in the middle of our shell. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and extrude that sketch. We're going to make it a quarter inch total, uh, total depth, and we're going to make it uh, extrude symmetrically from the original drawing. Okay, so we have kind of this nice uh, holder right in the middle there. All right, we're going to go ahead and click the green check. So our shape is kind of coming together, or part is kind of coming together nicely here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create another uh, sketch on the same work plane that we already have. Notice that the origin is still right in the middle of my circle, and we're going to kind of create our pegs that are going to uh, that are going to um, help us to attach our wheels later on. And we're going to make those uh, a quarter inch. Oops quarter inch uh, in diameter and click apply um, or click the green check so now we have our our drawing here we're gonna right click click OK uh, and right click and finish 2d sketch now I actually want to go back I wanted to make this I made this a little bit too thick here uh, so we want to make this middle part um, we actually want to change that to be instead of a quarter inch we want an eighth inch here Okay, so there we have it. Uh, then we're going to go back to our sketch three. We're going to extrude this out. Oops. And I clicked the wrong thing. Click extrude it out. So we only have one profile here. So we're going to actually extrude this a quarter inch in either direction. So it's going to be a half inch total. Okay, and we're going to extrude that symmetrically. And notice it's really nice here because we can see everything with that with that view setting. So we can see that it's coming out correctly. Click the green check. We're going to right-click, finish edit, and now we're back into our assembly. So we right-clicked, finished edit, and now we're into our assembly. Um, we do have a work plane here. We can set that as uh, invisibility to zero if we want to, or we can keep it as is. Um, for now, let's just go ahead and keep it as is. Um, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and create a second part. We're going to click Create. And this time we're going to call this uh, lesson 13. We're going to just call this wheel. We're going to click OK. All right, now what we have here, we still have our work plane visible, um, but we want to work off of our other sketch. Um, whoops. We want to work off of this other sketch. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do something. Um, we're going to first create a 2D sketch that's going to live right on our work plane. We, we get a work plane of our own, but we can go ahead and create it right there. Um, and notice where that work plane lives. It lives right in the middle there, right between, right in the middle of our original sketch. Um, and we're going to actually get out of here. Finish 2D sketch, finish edit. And we want to go back in and we actually want to take this work plane. We're going to double click to get back into our original drawing. And we're going to right click on the work plane and we're actually going to whoops we're going to right click on the work plane we're actually going to uncheck <coughs> visibility so it doesn't get in our way we're going to edit oops did the wrong thing we're going to right click finish edit and now we're back out uh, we're back out into our original assembly oops and we can just double click back into the wheel okay so now we're in the wheel and we're going to double click back into sketch one Okay, so now we're kind of back into sketch one. So we want to use this geometry from the other part. Okay, now we can't use it because it's not part of this part. But what we can do is we can do what's called project geometry. So we can actually go in and select something we want to work off of, in this case, the center of this nub here. Okay, and we can actually click on that and uh, right click OK to get out of the tool and now we have that circle that we can work off of so notice that that's the circle at the base of that kind of nub we're going to attach the wheel to And now having that to work off of we can go ahead and click the center point uh, we can bring this out and we're going to make this uh, circle uh, inch and a half and click the green check and now we're going to create a line Look at it straight on. So we're going to create a line. We're going to cut this in half. Right click uh, OK. 
Then we're going to trim off half of that uh, circle. So we're kind of doing the same thing we did for the shell. Right click, finish 2D sketch. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to revolve that 180 degrees to get our wheel shape. Choose our axis. So we chose the profile. Now we're going to go ahead and choose the axis. Okay, and it's not full. We only want to go 180 degrees. Click the green check. So now we have kind of our wheel, but it doesn't have a hole to attach anything yet. So we're going to go ahead and create a 2D sketch. So we clicked on 2D sketch, click on the surface of the wheel. And once again, we're going to project geometry through. Okay, so that's that center, that center of uh, the nub there. We're going to create a circle of the same size. Okay, so we clicked, clicked, we clicked on the circle tool, we clicked in the center, clicked again on the edge of the circle. We don't need a dimension because it's based upon the original geometry. Um, we could dimension it, but it, the dimension will just come out as 0.25. And notice that it, it gives it the over constrained, right? So we click cancel. Um, that's because it's already based upon that um, projected geometry. Um, okay, right click, finish 2D sketch, and now we're going to extrude. Okay, so we're going to extrude cut. So we choose cut. We want it to go in one quarter of an inch. And we click the green check. Okay, so there we have our part, and we can kind of see it uh, right there. All right, so we're in here. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to make our... Um, oops. We're going to change it from our default. Oops. We're going to change it from our default, and we're actually going to make the circle uh, kind of a gold metal. Okay, right click, whoops, right click, uh, finish edit. And now we're back into uh, our uh, the part that we were before. We're going to double click the assembly to get back into the assembly. And then we're going to double click our a wheel rig to get back into the wheel rig. And we also want to change that. Um, uh, we want to change that to uh, a different, uh, let's say we change it to nickel. Okay, right click, finish edit. Okay, so now we kind of have our assembly finished here. Um, or we have our two parts finished. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to save this back off. And when we save, what we get is we get this option, we get asked what we want to call our assembly, right? Okay, so we want to call our assembly. 13 assembly. Okay, and we're going to get the second dialog here when we save. Okay, now this is asking us do we want to save the IPTs? And we do. So we want to do yes to all and we want to click OK. And so now that allows us to go ahead and save. We just went ahead and saved all of our IPTs off. Notice that it, it was created, notice that it automatically created a constraint here, a flush constraint. So we can um, edit that flush constraint. We can actually change the, uh, the offset of that. And we're going to do 1 16th of an inch offset. Okay, to kind of move that out. Okay, we want a little bit of space between there. Okay. Oops. Okay. Small amount of space. Let's actually go back in there and we're going to change it one eighth of an inch so you can see. Okay, so we're going to actually move that off. And you can see now that it has some space between. Notice that we're right up against the outer wall there, so we're actually going to reduce that back down to uh, 1 16th, and that should be just right there. Okay, uh, now we're going to go ahead and place a second component. And we want to place our wheel again. Okay, we're just going to place it right there. Right click OK. We're going to constrain it. So we're going to mate, uh, mate, uh, and we're going to mate it up to this central part here. Click apply. And then we're actually going to, uh, to mate the center lines of the hole and the nub. So we have our, oh, we're going to have to zoom in. We're going to mate the center line of the hole. Swing around, and we're going to mate the center line of the nub. 
and click apply. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to um, to uh, edit this mate here. Okay, we're going to that's going to be a sixteenth of an inch offset as well. And we're going to click apply. Okay, so notice we have our finished. Whoops, there was my problem. Okay, we want a, z a zero amount mate. Oops, sorry about that. So we want a zero inch mate off that. We're going to bring it right up. We could do a one thirty second if we really wanted to. 132nd and that would bring us just a tiny bit so then we have a 132nd on both sides and we could do that here on the flush as well so if we wanted um uh, we want to add another third another 30 second onto that of course we do three 30 seconds oops three 30 seconds and click the green check and that gives us an exact perfect match okay so there is our um there is our um Assembly all completed except for one last thing, of course, and we're going to do the material. Oh, and we're going to go back to the material, and we're going to do this as gold as well. Okay, so there is our finished assembly. Okay, so there was an example of a, a little bit more complicated assembly, uh, and we've created all the IPTs from, from within the assembly, which creates much more quick work. It's a little bit cleaner because you're just creating everything from one interface. Of course, it uses heavily from the browser bar. So let's go ahead and we're going to save this. It's probably going to give this the option to save that additional IPT, but oh, no, it didn't. Okay, we're all saved off. Uh, go ahead and try to create the same thing on your own. Uh, good luck.